Good morning, everybody. This morning I'm reading Luke 22, 44. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. The stress Jesus was under as he prayed in the garden of Gethsemane was enormous. It says he was in agony, that he was deeply distressed, and he told his disciples, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. He even prayed, take this cup away from me. But he submitted to his father will, adding, nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. Praise God. The stress was so great that it affected him, not just mentally and emotionally, but physically. His sweat became like great drops of blood. Luke, the doctor, might well be recording here the recognized medical condition called hematidrosis, which can occur when someone is under extreme anguish or strain. But Jesus' faith was undiminished. The peace of God in his heart reigned triumphant. He had not succumbed to acute anxiety, which plagued him from then on. We can see this as we note how calmly he spoke to and with his disciples before this event, but also even more so with what serenity and confidence he spoke to his persecutors when he was arrested. He is the Lord of glory and the Prince of peace throughout his betrayal, trials, condemnation, scourging and crucifixion. He declared to Pilate, you could have no power at all against me unless it had been given you from above. Though in agony of soul and body, he shouted triumphantly from the cross, it is finished. And then he bowed his head, committed his spirit to his father, in whom he had absolute trust right up to the end, and he died. But what this Gethsemane event shows us is that even when we trust in the Lord wholeheartedly and know his keeping peace in our hearts, as human beings, we can sometimes go through extreme events which will affect us. When that happens to us, we shouldn't be shaken by it or lose our confidence in the Lord. Rather, we should be encouraged that our Lord Jesus has passed that way as well and can carry us through. Amen. Have a great day.